Can I zoom? Yeah. So I'm driving around yesterday and I'm like, look at that. In the middle of nowhere, it's hard to tell from here. See all that? There's just this little freaking pyramid of rocks. I'm like, I want to climb up that. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Here's a better view of it. Hopefully you can see. Come on. See there's just nothing all around it? Climb this Illuminati sculpture. By the way, as I'm getting closer, I just want you to appreciate how quiet it is out here. Look at this sphinx looking head at the top. Oh. The castle, ah. Our quest is at an end. Insert Monty Python music. By the way, I have not seen a footprint or a tire track this whole adventure. So yeah, when you go to these parks, I mean, be safe and pay attention to where you are, but you don't have to go on all the trails, you know. Make your own trail. And always make sure you have the right hiking socks. <sighs> About halfway. Uh, maybe more than halfway. <sighs> Getting there. <sighs> Bastard. And you just love it when you turn the corner. And there's just a little stairway to heaven right there. Look how easy that is right there. Woo! Oh, and here's the view from inside the sphinxy mouth. Top of the dude's head. I watched a video recently that was saying there's really not much in the southern part of the park at Joshua Tree. I think they said, <coughs> excuse me, don't go south of Choya Gardens or Koya, I forget how you pronounce those little baby Joshua Trees, but I mean, I think this is just as beautiful, maybe more beautiful. I don't know, I love it down here in the south part of the park. There's not really many Joshua trees per se, but there's a lot less people. And this is just big open land and all these just rocks. That is, that is by, by the way, my uh, formal review of Joshua Tree. A lot of cool rocks.